Hello children. I am here with my second video. I am Pratibha Sonane. I am a teacher at Gokhale Education Society's HL High School and Junior College English Medium. Students, today we will start the second chapter that is angles. Students, you can see these pictures. These all are angles. When two rays are having the same end point, it forms an angle. You can see that an angle have two arms and the end point is known as vertex. In between it forms an angle. We can name the angles as angle PYR, angle LMN, angle POS. So anyhow with the three alphabets you can name the angles. You can name the angles with the anti-clockwise also. Like if an angle is angle PYR you can say like angle RYP. You can also denote it as angle Y. Children, angles are measured in degrees. Let us see the movement of the arms. The angle between 90 degree to 0 degree means less than 90 degree and more than 0 degree is known to be acute angle. See the rotation of arms and here it is given the measurement of angles. You can see that sometimes they are having less distance, they are increasing, likewise they are forming different types of angles. You must have seen our clock, it has two hands, these two hands are moving, they are also forming angles. Now see how the arms are moving like that, it changes the measurement of its angles. So if it is more than 90 degree, it is known to be obtuse angle. Now let us see the types of angle. Number 1 is right angle. You can see if a angle is having the measurement 90 degree, it is a right angle. Right angle is having 90 degree measurement. We are using protector to measure angles next is acute angle acute angle means angle between 0 to 90 degree measurement as i told you earlier then the third one third one is obtuse angle obtuse angle means the angle which is having the measurement more than 90 degree when an angle is in the straight line, its measurement is 180 degree. It is said to be straight angle. Reflex angle means when it goes more than 180 degree angle means when one of the arm turn even further means more than 180 degree. This angle is greater than 180 degree. Such an angle is called a reflex angle. A reflex angle is greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. When an angle takes complete one round and come back to its original position as in the figure, it turn through 180 degree till it made 
a straight angle and 180 degree after making the straight angle this completing 360 degree in all an angle made in this way is called a full or complete angle the measurement of a complete angle is 360 degree students identify the different types of angles you can pause the video and see the clock hands and you can tell the types of angles write it in your notebook now see the next slide it is also having different pictures which are in your textbook for that also you have to identify the different types of angles now see the clocks here also you have to identify the different types of angles now let us start with our practice set number two see the first question it is match the following here measure of the angles are given to one side and to the other sides are type of angles you have to match it correctly number one is 180 degree come up identify it which type of angle it is yes right it is 180 degree means straight angle 240 degree next is 240 degree the correct answer is reflex angle next is 360 degree 360 degree all of you know it yes right it is a complete angle and zero degree zero angle see the solution students students start writing in your notebook this is the answers see the next question the measure of some angles are given below write the types of each angle you can copy it down students answers are given here you can also try it the next one is look at the figures below and write the types of each of angles so here you can see the angles and you have to identify it and write the types of angles here so i have given solution here just check your answer students see the next question use a protector to draw an acute angle a right angle and an obtuse angle see students this is a protector in that the degrees are given this protector is used to draw the angles and even to measure the angle the midpoint of the horizontal edge of the protector is known as the central point just see end of the ray will be on the center point and the other ray is rotating that tell us the measurement of an angle so like that we have to keep our protector like that is a baseline on the base ray and the vertex of the angle will be on the center point then we can see the angles in the degrees see 50 degrees 60 degrees 70 90 and so on so the other ray will tell us about the measurement of angle we can measure and draw the angle like that now just see how to handle the protector we have to keep the protector like that the base and the line have to be lie on each other then we can take the point of 60 degree measurement and draw the line there so this is an 60 degree angle let us see how to draw 90 degree angle that is right angle take a ray take the 90 degree point and draw a line to join that point so students in this way you have to draw the other angles too children complete the given work and complete practice set number two in the next video we'll see the same lesson practice number three 
then for now have a nice day stay home stay healthy take care students